Alan, Neil Adley is your new manager. What sort of a process have you been through to get to this point? Well, it's been very thorough, very rigorous. Um, we had a longer time to do it this time than the, 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 the last appointment. Um, we didn't have the pressure of the loan window and, and, and the manager having to, 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 to be appointed to utilise that, which gave us more time to, to talk to people and more time to really understand what we were really looking for and, 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 and the benefits of, of, of each manager. So we started with, with eight, uh, we got down to three, we second interviewed and third interviewed those guys. Um, and it was close, but Neil Ardley came out as, as the man I think who'll do the great job. We can see, obviously, Neil's experience at AFC Wimbledon in taking them into League One and sustaining them there for, for a long while. But what about him as a person attracted you to him? Well, there's two criteria that was an absolute must, uh, and that was they must have been managing for at least five years. Um, we, we felt that um, after um, Kevin and Harry, would you respect those guys, we wanted somebody who, who's got experience. Um, and the second criteria was they, they, they must have had a promotion on their CV so they know what good looks like. Um, that was the starting point. Um, we was inundated. We had over 200 CVs in total. Um, but, but Neil has got a real charming charisma about him. He's, 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 a, he's a really lovely man to start with. So he'll, he'll create a real great dressing room environment. And that's what the players need at the moment. They need, they need a manager in there that, that believes in them, that's going to create this siege mentality, that's going to take what they're working on off the pitch, onto the pitch. He's a great coach as well. He's not a manager who's just going to stand there on the edge of the pitch, um, who doesn't get involved in, in the sessions, but he's, he's, he's a coach as well. So trying to merge the, 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 the great person off the pitch with a coach on the pitch um, was, was important. Short term, presumably Neil is going to be judged on his ability to, to get us out of the situation we find ourselves in the league in terms of coming out of the drop zone and, and retaining our position in the EFL. Absolutely. And one of my questions would, has been, um, what's your first priority? Um, and his answer was to get to 55 points. Simple. Um, the average over the last six seasons is 47.5 for this league. Um, a few years ago, it got to 53. His target's 55, and he said, right, once we get to 55, then we start building for next season. But he's, he's under no doubt that that's what his, his initial priority is. Neil, away with his family at the minute, can you just explain the circumstances around his, his break? Well, he always said um, right from the start he needed a, he needed a break from football. Um, he hasn't had one for, for quite a while. He's been at Wimbledon for six years. He had a, a, a tough summer in terms of what he was doing with, with, with Wimbledon and bringing players in and out, etc. He didn't really get away, so he's gone away with his family. He's, he's, I believe he's in Dubai at the minute. Um, but he'll be cutting that short and be joining us early, early next week. Finally, a word on Steve Chettle, who will be taking us against Morecambe and against Carlisle on Tuesday. Obviously, he's been thrown right in at the deep end, hasn't he? But I'm sure you, you know, you'll be backing him in those two games to, to deliver some good results for us. He's a great guy, is Steve, and he, he's, he's got a great relationship with the, with the players. Um, he knows what he needs to do. He needs to try and try and get a result um, Saturday uh, and Tuesday. Um, we've got a few injuries. We need to get those back on the pitch, and, and we need to get playing again properly. Um, but I'm sure Steve will do the best he can, and once the manager arrives, then um, then, then the whole place will be lifted.